Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to take a look at how you can access the insert effects on any given send channel. So this is a common sort of workflow problem and if you don't know what to do, it's much more long-winded than it needs to be, particularly if you've got a large session. So here's a simple straightforward one where I've got a vocal and I've got a reverb send set up on it as an effects channel. Now obviously if you've got 300 tracks in your session this is going to work a lot better than it's pretty easy to navigate this but this is still faster so the normal workflow is we look you say oh it's on a send called reverb we go and find the effects channels we go to reverb you open up inserts which may or may not be open so you might come to it and then go oh then we go to inserts and then finally we press the e and we get to our reverb that's a pain particularly if you've got a navigate or you've got five tracks all called reverb who does that here's the solution much quicker so just go to your sending question. If you right click or two finger tap, if you're on a MacBook, etc., you get a pop-up menu. And at the bottom you get edit effect, room works. And we're there. Simple as that, you're straight in, no more navigation. You don't even need to move away from the channel in question so you can make your edits and you're back in the context where you were. Now you may be wondering, does that work if you've got multiple inserts on the channel? And yes, it does. So if we put in a frequency, as you commonly would do, you'd commonly EQ after reverb, etc. If we go back to our send here, again, two finger tap or right click, we can edit that directly. Quick and simple, you'll never have to go hunting for effects channels again. As ever, hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more music tech tuition.